I left my wife at a concert because she did this. Story time. Now I'm like a TikToker. So a little while back we posted a video where basically I talked about how I left Jenna at a movie theater to go work out. I know. I'm, You're I'm a an, bad person I know, for that. I know. <laughs> but at the very end of that video, Jenna completely sold me out. I had no idea that was coming where she was basically like, Next time on Story Time, when my husband left me at a concert. Yeah. I had an overwhelming amount of comments coming in being like, I gotta hear that story. You gotta tell me. And that's today. Hey, I'm Matt from Matt Lane Fitness. And I'm his wife, Jenna. Before we dive into this video though, if you're new to the channel, I appreciate you sliding by. If you're a regular, thanks for coming back. We put a video out every single Friday where we talk about fitness as a whole, but we mainly focus on mental fitness. And since we're talking about mental fitness, relationships really go hand in hand in that. So let's dive into today's video. So August of 2021 makes 12 years that we've been together. So we figured we should put this video out and explain why Matt left me at a concert. I was justified. Yeah, so it was the end of August 2009, so we had only known each other for about two weeks. I was 19 years old. Or we had both just finished complicated long-term relationships, so we were in a weird place. We were definitely like each other's rebounds. Yeah, and we were in like weird mental places individually, which made a rocky start overall for us. We have like no real reason why we should have survived, Yeah, you know? together. Yeah. It doesn't make yeah. much sense we, to be honest. An age gap. We were in totally different places in our lives and our careers. You were in your career. I was parking cars yeah. at the time. Like <laughs> It just worked eventually. But we didn't know that at the time. We just were kind of having fun and not really planning for the future. I think I was having the hardest time with my relationship, my previous relationship ending. I was just having a great time making really bad decisions all the time. And I had a great group of friends that was helping me and we were having a lot of fun. Journey was coming to town. We got tickets. We went to the bar, had several drinks before the concert, and we were having a good time. We walked across the street, went to the concert venue, and by this time I was lit. <laughs> I specifically remember two guys that had like mullet wigs on and like short jean shorts, and I was just so tickled by these guys. I want to take a picture with them, and we couldn't find the picture. I swear I've had I it know. this whole time. It bugs me that we couldn't find it. I was so into whatever my mom was into I had no idea what do you mean seeing these random dudes like having a good time with Got my it. friends like Got drinking it. and concert hadn't even started yet no so we went to go find our seats and I was just having a great time had no idea that Matt wasn't there <laughs> <laughs> before we dive all the way into this video if you want to give a shout out to the man that's dropping the jazz on this the editor-in-chief the man not the myth but the friggin legend please peg the like button to let him know how much you appreciate it. I want you to peg it hard for him. Or, or just like it. That's, okay. So, from my vantage point, what I saw, I'm standing behind like Jenna and her friends are in front of me and I see her sprint over these two dudes in mullets and she's taking a photo and like just, just sloppy drunk and like arm around one of, the, one of them and just like, oh my God, you guys look so funny. <laughs> in that moment, I saw this snapshot of somebody it wasn't like she didn't have her life together, but it was just- Oh, I didn't. That's not what it appeared to be. But in that <laughs> moment, I was like, I want nothing to do with you. I mean, just falling all over the place drunk. And I was just like, this is not my style. This is not my life. And I was like, yep, I'm out. So I, I think at that point I was like, hey, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. See you later, everybody. And I got in my I got in my car and I was I was on the interstate. I was miles away. I was getting off the interstate and I was like, man, that's a way to end that. To lie and then to just dip out. I was like, I really don't want that. Like, I don't want that to be the way it ends because I just dipped out because of one moment that was not your best. I was like, I gotta go back. I gotta do the gentleman thing and, and, and go back. By the time I got back, yeah, y'all were in the stands. Y'all were like looking at Journey and like singing along and I walk up and you're like, oh, hey, where, where have you been? <laughs> like you had no clue. Did I mention it then or mm -hmm. later? No, you didn't say anything. It was a <laughs> Elise at the end of the concert that was like, I wasn't supposed to say anything, but Matt left. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> when I absolutely had plans to tell you that I had left and ultimately tell you like why I came back. But I mean, I would have figured it out eventually that you left. And it, the thing is, I didn't have it made up in my head. It's like, I'm going back and I'm going to make this work. Really in my head was, 
I don't want to be one more sore spot in this young woman's life that I didn't know very well. And moving forward, I was just like, all right, let's just get through the night and we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. Uh, but the more I got to know her, uh, the more I was around her, I was like, that's not who she truly is. She's just going through some things. And I really felt something with you, even though we were in broken moments of our life mm -hmm. uh, individually and something about you kept me there. We both made a lot of mistakes, I think, at the beginning. Without a doubt. Because yeah, we you were, were... You were not the only one to make mistakes. <laughs> we were both in a bad place mentally. I think it was very big of you to put your pride aside and come back. I think that when we've had troubles in our relationship since then, it's the same premise of you just got to put your pride aside and to come back yeah. and say, look, at the end of the day, I want to be with you or I want to try to make this work. That's really how we solve a lot of our problems, I think, is just yeah. putting your pride aside and saying, look, I didn't like that, but let's work through this and move forward. There are times where like, if we're arguing, which is extremely rare, to be honest with you, we don't ever mm -hmm. like argue, but if there's times where something isn't quite right, I feel feel like I need to be away, I will. I'll still drive mm -hmm. away. And I think that that's sort of my coping mechanism, not necessarily to drive away or to get away from the situation, but I think to be able to process it, to be mm -hmm. alone. Yeah. And it's never been my intention to drive away and never come back, even yeah. from the start. Well, and I think just taking that time, at first expressing it of, I need a minute. Very true. Of just hitting that pause button of, I need to collect my thoughts because this conversation or argument or whatever is going down a path that is going to hurt both of us. Neither one of us are going to say anything beneficial and yeah. yeah, in that moment it makes total sense to step away. Yeah, absolutely. And then you both collect your thoughts and then come back and have a more rational conversation. You've also been the one that's really taught me the benefit of just putting your own feelings aside and being the first one to come back and say, look, let's talk about this. Yeah. And I appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, you do the same at times. I mean, I'm hard-headed and I mean, you, you do the exact same thing. You know, I think it's a give and take. It's what makes relationships work. If you would like 30 days of behavior change, a new challenge starts every month on the first Monday. That was not scripted. If you want to join, <laughs> there's a link down below. If you want to join, we do weekly group Zoom calls where we're going to keep you accountable, get the goals you want, 30 days, let's make it happen. Let's get you the body you want. The moral of the story is don't tap out on the ones you love. And also don't drink too much. That, that is a key piece of information. <laughs> you don't have to be perfect at this relationship thing or leaving people at a concert thing. Just be better than yesterday. Every day.